I'm back, and today we're going to talk about something actually very fascinating. Um, you may have never heard about this before, but it's called intermittent hypoxic training, okay? So we're going to talk about the benefits of intermittent hypoxic training or therapy. All right, what is this? Well, it's a training or therapy very similar to training in high altitudes. You're giving your body lower amounts of oxygen, and this is the key term, intermittently. Okay, because if you cut down the oxygen too low, too long, it could be dangerous. Just like fasting is really good short term, but not for two years. So by giving your body little doses of hypoxia, a lack of oxygen, you can create an amazing adaptation. Some of the videos I've done recently were about giving the body more oxygen, right? This is about taking the oxygen away. A lot of the top athletes do this type of training to get the unfair advantage. Number two, chronic lung diseases. Doing this training at the right intervals under supervision can increase your oxygen carrying capacity greatly. Number three, bronchial asthma. And by the way, both of these right here would benefit greatly from vitamin D as well. Okay, number four, hypertension. Five, diabetes. Number six, brain damage. Let's say, for example, you had Parkinson's or Alzheimer's. Doing this training can cause your body to just carry more oxygen and feed the areas that are hypoxic. Number seven, radiation toxicity. Number eight, increasing of your antioxidant network. When you put your body in a hypoxic state, it starts to rebound and starts creating antioxidants like crazy. Number nine, it increases the number of mitochondria. Wow. Number 10, and actually I think this is the most amazing thing. It will increase not only the number of red blood cells, but the size of your red blood cells so you can carry more oxygen. So you're making super red blood cells. This is amazing. Number 11, it helps release excessive amounts of calcium from the cell. Number 12, it'll increase oxygen to your tissues. That's probably why it helps diabetes, asthma, and brain damage. And number 13, it decreases oxidative stress. All right, so how do you do it? You can get a device like this, which is a little mask over your mouth right here where you can breathe. And then you know, can you hear me right now? Probably can't hear me. But basically, this restricts air, and you can use different settings that will simulate different altitudes. So maybe you start at 3,000 feet, and you slowly go up to 19,000 feet, and you're mimicking the amount of oxygen at different altitudes. And there's other ways to do it too. Uh, one way is like you're on this uh, bicycle, and you're breathing in less amount of oxygen and more nitrogen to create the same effect. So one pattern might look like uh, between three to five minutes of hypoxic air, where you're breathing more CO2, and then two to five minutes of ambient normal air, back and forth for let's say 45 minutes. And then what you can do is you can get a pulse oximeter. They're very inexpensive. You can get them from Amazon and that'll measure the amount of oxygen in your blood as your feedback mechanism. Now, before I did hyperbaric, my uh, oxygen was 95 and now it's 100. But when you're doing this training, it'll go down to 85 temporarily, but then it goes right back up to where you were. So this is just another tool that you can use to create a hormetic effect, which basically you're giving a small amount of stress intermittently to cause the body to rebound and adapt and become even stronger. All right, thanks for watching. So if you want more knowledge on how to create a healthy body, subscribe now and get daily notifications.